Hey guys and welcome back to a new video from your white guys, I'm Salute and today I'm just going to talk about something that I checked out the other day and it was the Spawn Script and Armor update trailer and it did trailer just to show something that I wish a squad had and since uh, Post Scriptum is also a game made by Offworld Industries although it's made by um, a smaller studio called Periscope Games, but you know, it's also in the off girl industries family. Let's say, I, I think it could come to squad in in the future. We'll see. In this game, they make um armor overhaul that they completely change how the armor is going to work, and I'm really excited for it. I think Post is already a really good game on its own, and uh, yeah, just I'm going to talk you guys through it. So, as you can see, there are different ammo shell types and different shell types obviously have different effects on how they work uh, with the environment. You know? if, you, if you know in the squad you have a health bar that shows the health of the tank, right? Not anymore in Postscriptum. Postscriptum has a, a module damaging type of system in which uh, you have to hit each module independently and if you destroy a some modules you could actually just dis completely disable the tank those modules could be uh obviously terminal or not so it's that it's not the same hitting the tracks or hitting the obviously the turret uh yeah that could disable the tank completely or could actually you know hit the tracks or repair it like you do in the squad that's the same the good thing is that uh you know if you shoot the tank depending on what shell you're using Obviously, good pen or called ricochet. But the cool thing about it, if it's ricochet, it could actually kill the the infantry around it. For the shopling cows, but that pen or that ricochet could actually kill the infantry nearby that it's around it. But also, if the round pens and if it has enough explosive mass, it could actually kill the crew inside of the tank. At least some of it. And that's a really cool feature that reminds me a lot of War of Thunder. And if you know me, you know that I love to play War of Thunder. I think War of Thunder is the best simulator in terms of tank battles in the world right now. And I think it's really good that they just took that from them. Uh, mostly the system feels like War of Thunder. And that's really cool. Because War of Thunder, you know, it's a third person shooter game let's say that you play alone in the tank by yourself and you know a game like squad of postscriptum that you play with three four crew members i think that that experience combined with the world thunder formula could be really really good and really interesting to play as and obviously different shell types do different damage depending to the terrain or the the, the tank that you're shooting at and that's really really cool so what do you think guys about adding something like this to a game like Squad? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Do you do you are you looking forward to adding something like this to Squad? Because I'm super excited to play worth postscriptum with uh, this kind of armor system. I think it could be really really cool, really great, and something really innovative. And if Fossil Scriptum did it, Squad can do it too. So yeah, that was it guys, and another thing that they added in the game, by the way, before I forget about it, is that now the driver has also to manage the gear of the tank. It's not longer auto automatic, so now you have to manually change the gears. And depending on the gear you're on, you can make the tank more maneuverable or less maneuverable. Similar to a game like, um, Hella Loose, right? But, you know, it could be that thing could be also great for a game like Squad. So, I don't know what your thoughts are. I'm super excited to play this. Uh, I'm also excited. I'm looking forward that the Squad will add something like this in the future. Really, that was it, guys. Stay safe and catch you guys next time.